Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Um, also, you can join my channel for $9.99 a month membership, where uh, the perks are once you join, you just pop in the chat, members only chats, where you can ask any question you like and I'll pull cards for you. Okay. You guys also have a Twin Flame ebook available on my website, moonpytarot.com. The link is below in the description box. So it's a quick read. So if you want to check it out, it's $11.11. .11. Okay. It's 11 signs you're in a Twin Flame relationship. All right, you guys. How are you? How is everybody doing? Happy New Year. <clears throat> We're on day two of 2022. So let's take a look and see what the messages are for you going forward. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Again, these messages are general, so be mindful of this. They may or may not resonate with you. Okay, got a couple of cards here for my Virgos. You know, hold on. Now, I just heard Twin Flame. I just heard twin flames. They just said, tell them twin flames. Okay, wow. Girl the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabling and boundaries. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> well, that's the way to start 2022. I feel like that was yesterday too as well, okay. We've got sunglasses. Somebody's watching you, Virgo. They're looking. They're stalking you. Okay. Let's see. Okay. You've got kisses. Hmm. Giving and receiving. Somebody wants to kiss you. <laughs> Somebody's looking at your lips, Virgo. Somebody is like looking at your lips and they want to kiss you that's interesting okay you've got wedding rings cupid's arrow my goodness ascending forget it all right you got a toxic relationship you know what <laughs> this must be a little bit more information from yesterday okay you know, I'm not making up the word. It's right there. Or you have someone who's an empath and you're a narcissist, Virgo. <laughs> um, but I feel like somebody, th there's a dance here between you and somebody else. There's some, it could be, it just, it just feels like there's some kind of a dance or a relationship, a, a connection where there was a runner chaser. And I, maybe that's why they were telling me twin flames. Um, I implore you to purchase my um, 11 signs you're in a twin flame. I also talk about karmic twin flames and maybe that will help resonate. But there's an ascension happening, okay? There's definitely an, a, a transition, there's transcending some obstacles, um, learning. There's a new phase coming in here and someone's preparing for union. So, Okay, the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things are coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. Heart with a key and a hammer. Okay. All right, so let's start this way, Virgo. I mean, come on already. There's definitely some kind of a dance that you and another person have or are just doing here where one person is over giving it's like the story of narcissus and echo um i don't know if you've ever read the story but you know narcissus as everybody knows is just so in love with themselves and wants everyone to be in love with them but as soon as someone sh expresses their love for them or goes over the top with giving then narcissus pushes that person away and that's what echo was echo had an inability to speak truth all echo could do was echo the words of narcissus 
And so when Narcissus would say um, something like, we must be together, Narcissus was always only talking about self, but Echo heard, we must be together, and echoed what Narcissus said, thinking that Nar Narcissus meant Echo to be together. I hope you understand that. And Echo wound up getting very confused because as soon as Echo got closer, Narcissus pushed Echo away. So there's this dance, this push-pull, this back and forth, okay? The, the dancing with the devil or running with the devil. I'm on a Van Halen kick right now. What's going on? But there's an energy here of some type of relationship where one person runs when the other's chasing, and then when one person stops chasing, the other runs. Um, you know, it's just a lot of, it, it just feels like there's a lot of back and forth energy here. Okay. And so some of you might be resonating with that. There might be some type of connection that you've had in the past or you currently have or you could be having where they're just trying to tell you that um, be careful with that. But I also feel that with the snake energy, there's a shedding of skin. Now, listen, um, I was reading a book the other day called borderline personality disorder right I was reading the book reading this book because i just love psychological stuff and i watch serial killers you know documentaries i'm just fascinated with the the psych and and that must be the scorpio in me but there this book actually was claiming that people with borderline personality disorder which is not narcissistic personality disorder but they they do overlap can actually heal Okay, I'm not saying my opinion about this or anything, but it said they can actually heal. And there's ways to do it, right? Um, is it probable? Probably not, but is it possible? Yes. I feel like there's a shedding of skin here with someone who, uh, with the relationship that was very, one person was giving too much and the other was taking too much and pushing away and, and vice versa, that dance. You both know it so well. You both have danced like that for so long in the past or currently you're dancing that way with each other. Somebody has to break the cycle, okay? Maybe it's you, Virgo. Maybe it's somebody else or breaking these old patterns or habits, okay? So their boundaries are coming up. <clears throat> um, it's no more enabling somebody else to um, take advantage of you um, it's now enabling yourself to have boundaries, which is very good. Okay. I'm not saying you're a narcissist. I'm not saying you're codependent or I'm not saying you're a narcissist or echo. I just feel like this paradigm paradigm, excuse me, of this dance is over. It's coming to an end here, whether it's actually like a complete cutoff and it's done, or there's a major shift that's happening and there's change which is kind of what I feel. Now, I definitely feel, Virgo, somebody is watching you like a hawk. They're looking at you, possibly stalking you. They, if, if, there's a, if you find out, which you may, you may find out, somehow this person might slip up and you might say something to them about that. And they'll gaslight you and say, no, 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 it wasn't me. Or, no, you know, they'll just lie. They'll make you believe that what you actually know for a fact or what's true and what you saw um, is not what you saw <laughs> and cause you to doubt yourself because they don't want to get caught. But I feel like this is an energy of like, watch, someone's watching someone watching someone else. Okay. There's a lot of looking, stalking. Okay. And especially with this kisses, it feels like someone's like falling in love with you, like crazy falling in love with you right now. Okay. Um, and they want your affection and they want to give their affection to you okay so i don't know if you're somebody's going to just sneak up on you and give you a kiss in january it just comes out of the blue someone that you don't expect it could be someone that you ended a relationship with you bump into them they see you they're looking at you staring intently at you and just boom plants a kiss on you and it's like a surprise and it's they want to this person might you might see them in sunglasses actually they're just saying Okay, but you also have wedding rings. Um, okay, I'm just going to say this. I, I am, listen, Virgo, 
there are some of you here and you don't have to you don't have to get mad but there's some of you here who is going to in december take somebody back you are this person is going to come in with cupid's arrows a lot of conversation they're going it's going to be like a surprise invitation um there, there was a lot of hesitation, but that's ending. There's going to be like an invitation to meet up or to get together. This person wants to give you, um, either give you some rings. They're going to tell you they want to marry you. There's a soul connection. And some of you, like they're making an ever, everlasting promise. And some of you are going to accept. <clears throat> You're both going to find a way to transcend these obstacles. Okay. Definitely, there's a new phase, and I see both of you preparing for union here, okay? I just can't get out of my head. They keep showing me this image of somebody is looking at your lips. They keep looking at your lips. I don't know what lips those would be, okay? If it's a male, like uh, masculine, I guess it's your lips on your face. But anyway, we're going to go away from that, okay? So there's definitely change coming here with this dragonfly card. There's, it's like, you're going to find this out. Like you're going to, things are just going to begin opening up to you. What's going on? Is this person getting it? Were you dealing with someone who was just really loop-de-loop? -loop? If they were, it seems like there's major shift or changes. I don't know, something that you did in the past or whatever you uh, you did somebody did something in the past and somebody is making grand changes here in their life which you know it's very promising and i know some of you are not going to return back to it but others of you um may oh hold on you guys i just got a call sorry Um, now I know some of you are like, there's no way in hell I'm going back to that person. There's no way in hell I'm doing this again, but come on. I mean, if this person came in and I'm telling you, like I always said, what do I say? I say to you all the time, this person comes in with their leg cut off below the knee and they're walking around on stumps and they're ready and willing to do what is needed to be done. Uh, some of you, you know, you're going to take them back. And I feel like that energy is happening here. But you're putting the hammer down here. Okay? You're like, if we're going to rebuild here, I need persistent, repetitive effort working on it. And I see here, you got the hammer. You're, you're like, okay, I'm going to use this hammer. And we're either going to, I'm either going to put a nail in this coffin once and for all, because they're going to come back in with bullshit. Or I'm going to use this hammer and I'm, I'm going to hand it to them and get them say, get to work, start building, start working. Okay. So their heart with the key here, I, as I was saying, some of you are welcoming love. You're welcoming love into your life. Okay. Now for others, this is definitely somebody new coming in. Wow. Somebody new as you heal from the paradigm of a runner chaser relationship who this person still watching you is never going to stop watching you, um, wants to give and receive affection and love. Okay. Uh, if you walked away from something, this person, it's making them fall in love with you even more. Um, and some of you are going to meet somebody who actually has the key to your heart. Okay. It's not a perfect love, but it is a progressive love. Okay. Although it does kind of, it will feel like it's a perfect love. So there's ascension happening here and it looks really good for you, but I, I definitely feel there's, the, there's no way that love is not coming to you. I definitely feel still that you've got new love coming in, but you also have someone from the past, but let's get into the tarot and see what else is going on here, who you might be connecting with, who this energy is. Now somebody has a dragonfly tattoo. Or again, a snake, or is it born the year of the snake again, of course. Oh, you're working with a hammer. I was just hearing. Oh, actually, I was just seeing it. Somebody's blowing up balloons. Or getting ready for some kind of party. 
All right, let's see, Spirit, what can you tell us? What is going on here for Virgo? Okay, you, oh, Virgo, you are, you're in your like, I'm not saying anything, keeping your secrets, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, not responding. These There's communication definitely coming in. There's travel plans. And as I was saying, somebody here, um, Cupid's arrow twice, somebody coming into your life, like you're getting an invitation in January. Somebody's going to surprise you out of the blue where this person might have been quiet, not saying anything, thinking about approaching you. Um, they're definitely approaching you. Okay, now this person could be a Cancer, could be another Virgo for some of you. Okay, look, there's a reunion, definitely. Or there's like a family get together or a birthday party. There's a foundation here trying to happen with the Four of Wands. Okay. Whew. This definitely feels like a homecoming. There's a celebration or something. Somebody's coming in. They've been thinking about you. They've been watching you. I feel like this person is coming to terms with they really want to be with you. They want to be like your, your soulmate, your twin flame, as I was saying, your other half. They, I don't know what happened. What happened in the past, Virgo? Well, there you go. Eight of Cups, Virgo. You were like, you split. You said, that's it for me. I'm going after my ninth cup. Forget you. You're storing up your cups, Virgo. You're saving up your love for someone or for yourself. Rebuilding yourself. You walked away from a relationship. And you just didn't look back. Okay, you withdrew. Just decided, decided that you were moving on. You abandoned the connection. Why? Hmm. Because you needed to see how you really felt. You really, you. Some of you just checked your feelings. The Queen of Cups here. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy, or you were dealing with a, um, a water sign element that you left because they didn't know how they felt. Or whatever sign. Yeah. <clears throat> you made a bold move here, Virgo. You just, you tore the roof off the house and said, that's it. You blew it up. <laughs> and I kind of feel like that caused somebody here to take a look at their own feelings. Take a look at their own cup. Okay. There's definitely an energy here of, you just destroyed it. You said that was it. Can't keep going like this has to be broken down into to smithereens in order re, to rebuild because you know once the building's on fire what happens like they gotta gut it you gutted this you gutted this fish virgo <laughs> if you're with the pisces you gutted this fish and you just said that's it no more you're leaving you're going after your ninth cup and your ninth cup would be wish fulfillment okay which one cup represents the ace of cups a new either you wanted to have a child or start a new relationship you were seeking marriage something going on with this relationship with someone in the past was very much like a dance and every when one person pulled away it, it was like you both could never be in the circle at the same time on the dance floor at the same time one was always leading and one was always following and then you would shift roles and then the other would lead and the other would follow, but it was never mutual coming together and, and working on th and both two people wanting the same thing. You walked away from that Virgo. You walked away from it. The queen of cups, if that's representing you, you definitely went within. Okay. Maybe this person, you felt they were very smothering or insecure, or they had some emotional addiction issues. Maybe there was emotional manipulation for others of you. Um, it, maybe this person, I feel like you were seeking someone who was more nurturing and supportive. Okay. And, and tolerant and wanting to work with you in this relationship. Okay. But for some of you, I feel like this person withdrew from their emotions as well okay they abandoned their emotions they kept them to themselves they didn't make that a factor you know maybe this person was extremely logical or played or just was like cold uh, had a cold element about them they've been quiet they've been quiet they've been quietly watching you 
okay in secret looking to see I don't know Virgo I feel like you really brought the house down on somebody you you used your hammer some of you used that hammer and you just you know you put that nail in the coffin like I said but they're coming back around here Virgo wow got the star so we have Aquarian energy here Scorpio energies and Cancer and Pisces so you've got the star here so there's definitely a renewal coming in here this person wants to renew this relationship and start over again expect a lot of communication Cupid's arrows twice I feel like this person has been quiet because they're waiting to see if you were going to reach out to them they're waiting to see if you were going to make any moves towards them or if you were going to come back or communicate with them again I don't see you doing that here I feel like you're on a temporary hiatus okay um, maybe for right now you're just you just I don't know did you ghost maybe you ghosted somebody and this is giving this person hope you're showing um, a sign of strength this person might have people around them whom they get in relationships with and the people they get involved with can't ever let them go um, and this person loses respect for people <laughs> again a little narcissistic not gonna lie uh, maybe this person's in the public eye <clears throat> or has a level of fame here with the star card okay or they just have um, they're in the spotlight in some way they might be used to that people treating them like they're the end-all be-all to everything um, but I feel like when you connected with this person you're like no uh, no who are you again <laughs> you just saw them as um just a person you know what I mean someone that potential to have a love relationship with I don't feel like you were like you I don't feel like you got glazed over as much um, by this person as maybe other people in their life did maybe they're just someone who's very charming you know with that girl with the snake card is very charming um, and just has a way that everybody likes them but Virgo I feel like you saw you didn't put this person on a pedestal and I feel like that kind of put this person like set them back a little bit like wait because I feel like this person equates love without adoration and that if someone is not adoring them therefore they must not be worthy of love but your thing Virgo is like well adoration is not equivalent of love okay love is being open and vulnerable love's a verb it's taking action um if, if in other words a lot of you just felt like it, it seems like okay if I didn't give this person enough attention and validation that they would leave and go find somebody else so it was very insecure kind of energy for that person and I feel like maybe that just drained you a lot of you just left quietly but you definitely shocked this person because you did something that other people don't do with them you're the one that got away and now they're coming back in okay they want to be with you now fully like you're it they're gonna ascend because you showed them something that they're not used to you know it's kind of like they say you know if you're like say you're a stand-up comedian right and you're on the stage and you're telling your jokes everybody's laughing ah, yeah we're all in sync but then there's that one person that's like uh, that's not funny that's the one person that the comedians like what do you mean they focus on them more so because their ego and Virgo you stood up and you said no I'm sorry I thought you were a good person but you know I'm not somebody who's gonna bend down and kiss your ass if that's what you're looking for I don't know Vir a Virgo that does uh, do you do you guys know if you know a Virgo or have heard of a Virgo that kisses somebody's ass please tell that Virgo to get into our chat so we can set that Virgo straight um, because there's some issues going on there I don't ever see Virgos are the tough cookies you know who's a Virgo Beyonce to the left to the left keep it moving all right let me see here what else is going on yeah so this person's definitely coming in okay we have the Sun oh my god they've been praying oh for healing or just like please God I need more vitamin D because I'm a psychopath this person definitely in this um 
I just feel like they they lay in bed at night and they're just they're like legit talking to God now, or they are, you know, sending prayers up or just manifesting. All you know, he's got his hands crossed here, but this person's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please, please let Virgo open up, let Virgo show me um, themselves, bring me joy, bring me happiness. This is what this person wants with you, Virgo. There's Leo energy here, and. They're just praying for a joyous outcome. They're praying that you will accept them back. That if they reach out to you, they start sending you communicate, communicative messages. And for some of you, love bombing. They're praying that you are going to answer the call, that you're going to say yes, that you're going to take them back. They want to renew. This person wants to come to where you are. Um, they want to meet your family or reconnect with them, see your kids, you know, the whole nine yards. I, but again, what am I describing? Again, the runner chaser paradigm. Okay. <laughs> so what happens generally? Generally, what happens is one person leaves, the other one chases. And then when the person who's chasing finally gets the one who left to come back, then the roles reverse. And why does that happen? That happens because the one who comes back doesn't stand there with their boundaries and say, I know and I see what you're doing, but you're going to have to do more than just love bomb me or communicate or send me messages that you miss me or that you want me back. Because I feel like Virgo, you walking away from some type of connection in the past, you like destroyed the F out of this. Okay, or at least that's how it feels to this person that you do not want them anymore, that they feel ruined and disgraced. They might even be feeling a bit angry right now as I'm looking at this card, um, a bit angry that you had the balls to say, you know, F you. Self-love is the biggest and the greatest middle finger of all time, right? And that looks like a big middle finger to me. You just listen right up here is the crown chakra. Okay. And what did you do? You destroyed this person's ego point blank period because it was the ego that was standing in the way of this relationship and good, good, because what is life with an ego? You know, where's the humility in life? So this person is hoping for <clears throat> positive outcome with you. They're hoping that you're going to accept them back. They're definitely going to try. They're getting up their fire back for you. They're going to be rushing in with all this passionate, lusty energy because this person keeps thinking and they're thinking about your kisses. They are look, they're looking at your lips somehow, as I said before, and they keep thinking about the love and the affection that you gave and how unconditionally loving you were towards them. And... They want to feel that falling in love, that, that dopamine hit that you gave. And so their loins are starting to heat up a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So Virgo, you get the message, the communication. Um, and you just kind of look down at your phone or you look down at your laptop. And then you go back and you look at your bank account and you're like, all right, let me put that phone call or message aside I gotta make sure I have enough money <laughs> I gotta make sure my bills are paid first it's so typical but mostly I feel like you're just gonna look at the message for a while and just be like numb like are you kidding this person is tremendously you know what they're attracted to Virgo your strength your fortitude okay your ability to be stable and grounded in the face of adversity, in the face of challenges. If this person brought challenges to you in the past, I just feel like you are, you're like very resourceful. You're like, hmm, okay, this person's gonna bring me some drama. Okay, let me get the remote click off. You're just like, you have other resources to pull from Virgo when you're in a position of when there's adversity you're, you're you can be quite logical and you can step back from 
um, any attacks or anything that comes towards you and you can analyze it and and label it and say okay that person right there is attacking me and this is why because they're a psychopath or they they have issues or whatever it is it has nothing to do with me and I'm going to stay stable and grounded and let them do what they want that's very attractive in general okay it, it's not that you're stubborn it's just that you're patient and you recognize effort and hard work because that's what you put into relationships are you overly romantic i don't necessarily there might be some of you who are like that but i feel like you're more or less like you have very deep feelings you might not express them very much but like they rumble deep 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 down inside of you your emotions and they don't always come out if they do virgos they usually come out through writing or art or creating something or putting effort into some kind of business or maybe in creative endeavors that's usually how virgo is able to release okay but this person they're 100 percent coming towards you they're very very on fire for you you're no flake and this person they might even okay they just told me i'm not going to say they might even they just told me this person's a bit intimidated by you virgo because you just don't you've got like you've got like an iron fist virgo like you've got a force behind your punch <laughs> virgo your hand could be cut off and you could have little stubs at the end of your um your wrist and you could still knock somebody out with that like you've got a force behind you <clears throat> behind you but you don't go around beating people up you're more or less i don't know you have like some kind of um power power thing about powerful you have a strong stance uh you take a strong stance you're immovable okay and that's what the pentacle energy is like it's very physical so you have a very strong physical way about you the stance but it's it's more like you just you can't be moved you almost have maybe you have some taurus in you somebody are, might have some taurus you can be you can become very obstinate at times when somebody's coming at you with this fly by night lusty energy like you don't deal with that you just don't even pay attention to people that come towards you with this flaky i just want to f you energy and leave you're like no my money sticks around i don't need you you know but i mean this person i don't feel like they're coming in for a one night kind of thing I really don't but i feel like this is how they'll probably express themselves once if you agree to meet up with them because their their loins are burning their loins are burning for you that's where they're feeling it most okay sagittarian energy here you could also have taurus and capricorn you're dealing with um, virgo look at you i mean i'm so proud of you you're just like look at me I'm in harmony with self. I got self-love. You got the nine here and nine always represents like completions and accomplishment. Virgo, you're doing so well for yourself at this point or you will be going through in the month of January. I see money coming to you. I see your, your, um, I see your pot of gold really starting to fill up. Okay. January is going to be big for finances for Virgos. And I feel you guys especially are just going to be living that luxurious life, that glamorous life. She was the glamorous life. Who was that? Sheila E. Um, you're, you're just, Virgo, you're like, oh, let me balance my materialistic, my materialism, um, you know, my money and everything with my spiritual self. You're just like, Virgo, you have... I feel for some of you, <clears throat> you, you walked away from this relationship, you, you, you did the big kaboom, you put a kibosh on something, and you're just like doing well. I think you, a lot of you needed to do this. <clears throat> Excuse me, all of a sudden. A lot of you needed to do this. You needed to get yourself in a better situation, not just financially, Okay, some of you maybe still, but not just financially. You needed to get yourself in like this, I don't know, it's kind of like I want you, but I don't need you kind of thing. Now, there might have been some of you who, you know, you were heartbroken when you had to walk away from this relationship, okay? Um, because you did want to be with the person, you know? I mean, it just feels like I just kind of get the sense like you're the one that got away. 
and everybody gets away, but for some reason it matters to this person. Okay. I do feel like they, they did have some deep feelings for you, but I don't know the way they, what they filtered it through and then what they gave you were completely, it just was all, I don't know. It was all Greek to you. I guess you didn't understand or you did understand, but you couldn't understand why. Maybe you focused too much on trying to figure out why. And you wasted a lot of time rather than just asking yourself, well, what do I need? And am I getting that here? Um, I always say when you're you're trying to make when you're trying to make decisions about your life, don't make emotional decisions because one day you're going to be happy, the next day you're going to be sad. It's kind of like a candle in the wind. Make logical decisions, and sometimes it's hard to make logical decisions when the heart's involved. You know, but if you were in a situation where this was like a dance that kept going back and forth and it wasn't going anywhere and you just were going around this dance floor taking turns, but it was just nobody was dancing together. You were each just leading each other at different times. You just were wasting a lot of time. And some of you stayed on that dance floor for a really long time. It was just this never ending story. And some of you made that decision to cut it off. But you know what this person looks at you and they see you as being very balanced and strong and stable they see you have your wealth i don't know if you've got wealth but they're seeing it now about you or you will be having it and they're going to be paying attention to that this um temperance card is like you've also i don't know you've you've tempered yourself in a lot of ways like you're not reactive to situations now you're you are you're just active like in other words somebody says something to you you're not like you don't react to that you don't allow people to have that much power and control over you and i don't see you doing that anymore i see rather than reacting to a situation you kind of like do this red light maneuver where you just stop before reacting and you think about and you suss out you don't feel an urgency to respond um you're more thoughtful in January about what you want because you've had to be. You've had to be. A lot of you were just sitting in a situation where you were letting somebody lead most of the time and dictate to you how things were going to go in your life or how things were going to go in this relationship. And you just were like, I feel like you were very oppressed. So you walked away. And now they're looking at you and they're like, wow, holy. I never thought Virgo would do that. I never thought Virgo had the guts to turn me away or turn me down. Nobody turns me away. <laughs> All right. Okay. These are two soulmate cards here. So there's definitely going to be a coming back together. Okay. There's a reconciliation here. This person, they can't get rid of their memories about you. The good memories. Um, and I feel like you're going to get, I guess I want to say sometime there might be a gift. This person wants, they're going to, Okay, they just said they're going to send you something, maybe some flowers <laughs> um, or a gift of some sort. Uh, they might send something to your children um, or to your family, another some like another married couple that have children to remind you that they're still there and they're still thinking about you or they still, um, <laughs> they, they don't, Virgo, listen. <laughs> Some of you, I mean, if you don't want someone to stay in a relationship with you, stay with them, chase after them, you know, unhealthy relationships. If you want to get out of a healthy relationship, this is how you keep this person. Okay. Because if they're unhealthy, um, they're not going to let you go. But I just, I just feel like the power is in your hands now, Virgo. And some of you are going to try or you are going to accept an invitation to reunite or to talk again but you're not accepting the person back into your life fully okay um i mean i do feel like they are going to try to bring up past memories and they will tell you that they love you and they miss you and they've been thinking about you um i don't feel like you're going to just say okay you can come back. Yeah, just come back. Well, oh, no problem. I don't feel like that. I feel like you're only going to go as like, you're going to keep the little social distancing might happen here. Um, 
Oh my gosh. All three of my sons are calling me. Like they won't stop calling me. Hold on. I'm wondering if something's up. Okay, no. They're just being typical. Um, so I feel like um, you're going to, you might just say, okay, well, I'll meet you for coffee in a public place and I'll hear what you have to say. But that's about it. I'm not going to your house. <laughs> I'm not, we're not, you know, I'm not coming into the bedroom that we were in. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'll meet you in a public place. You're going to have your distance with this person, but you will hear them out. Okay. You will hear them out. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay. This person is going to come in. They're going to tell you they, they're, they've dropped whatever these burdens or blockages that they put, that they carried to keep the relationship from progressing forward. Um, and they're going to come in with that big old pickle for you. <laughs> um, but I definitely feel like they're going to tell you that they got like a sense of inspiration um, and they just feel this urgency to start and have new growth with you. And like they carry, this person carries a torch for you and they're going to tell you that. I don't know if they'll use those exact words, but they've been carrying a torch for you for such a long time. And they're, um, they realize that it's a very interesting scenario they're giving me here. This person, okay, they throughout their life had a tendency to they're just giving me the word collect. So they, they, all the people, okay, here it is. All the people in their life, there was a lot of people that carried torches for them. Okay. And they collected those torches from that, those other people as a means of validation to make them feel better. But at the same time, they use them to this person use those torches that other people held for them and hid behind them if that makes any sense they would never actually just pick one torch and say this is my person and i'm going to accept this one torch and see if there can be growth here between the two of us instead they just kept accepting all this attention attention and tension and would never just choose one people were always handing those torches to them and I feel like the only one who truly ever mattered to them was you, the torch that you handed to them. But this person was just trapped in ego, trapped in ego. Okay. And you both got caught in some kind of a web between the two of you. You kept uh, trapped in some kind of a web that you both could not get out of trying to free each other from the web that you were both stuck in and neither of you the only way to do it was to free yourself Virgo and that in turn freed them that's deep okay so Virgo you're a very giving person and I don't see you being mean towards this person I don't see you being unkind. I feel like you'd even go so far as to give him a couple of coins to pay for a cup of coffee. You know, um, I see you. But I definitely see that if you're going to sit down with this person, you will encourage them to open up their mouth and speak truth. Okay, you might even be able to give them the courage to tell the truth. And I think you will because you're showing a sign of strength here. Um, that you are no longer, you're not going to be part of anybody's harem. You're not going to be part of anybody's, um, you know, you don't put people on pedestals. And the reason you don't do that, Virgo, is because you don't want anyone else to put you on a pedestal because you're a very humble person as well. You don't like the feeling of being put up on the shelf. Therefore, you don't do that to anybody else, okay? In your mind, everybody... Um, 
has equal parts to give to relationships and to life and to the world. And you like being part of a cog. Um, you like to be in the background setting up the stage. Some of you do like to be out front, but most of you are just more like, you know, I don't need to be out front. I'm not someone that needs to have validation 24 hours a day. Virgo, you're the one that gets into bed at night and you read the self-help books. You're the one that listens to the tarot card readings. You're the first one to go into counseling, right? Whatever it takes to improve because Virgo is all about improving things. And I feel like you will always be kind to everyone and any person. And I feel like you will be kind to them. Um, but you're going to have a way that you're going to get them to speak their truth, okay? To quit roaring like a lion as if, you know, they were the king of beasts and to actually just sit down and be honest and be truthful. And this person is going to come with courage. They'll tell you that they weren't only given to you. They were breadcrumbing for the longest time. They were breadcrumbing other people. And you know what? It's just about them getting to say it, hearing it from their lips, because you already knew that. Okay, so the world. So there's a major shift and change happening here. And this is in the new year. New year. Definitely um, some kind of an epiphany in February going into March. Okay, but this is Piscean energy. We also have, I said all the signs, um, pretty much. Interestingly enough, I mean, possible Aries for some, they just told me. But there's definitely like a, a waking up. There's a new perspective happening here. This There's a win. There's an energy of like, okay, this cycle is complete. Now we understand. And now we're going to move forward. Some There might be somebody who's going into like, um, they're getting help with from a counselor or a spiritual advisor. Could be you, Virgo. You might just be like taking one look back at the past of this relationship with this person, giving them a chance to speak, but then saying, no, I'm sorry, I'm still moving on and getting into more in spiritual enlightenment and um, having more um, peace in your life, you know, accepting um, the situation as it is. Some of you are just really getting to that point where you're like, you know what, I'm not, I can't, I have to just accept how things are. In, instead of trying to make or fix things or make, you know, um, you can't fix a person. And that's what you're coming to, right, with yourself. All you can do is you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make that horse drink. You can make the horse want to drink, but it's still up to them, right? So whatever is going on here, there's definitely a shift, an energetic shift going into this new year here and a change and there, that hangman energy kind of makes me feel like there's a sense of wisdom happening here. Like there's somebody, somebody's getting very wise to life. Um, maybe somebody was like, it feels like a level up. It feels like a, um, a transcendence, an ascension happening here, transcending the obstacles, whatever obstacles there were, um, interconnection here there's like learning from these obstacles there's expansion a new phase is happening here and there's preparing for union okay interesting the page of swords came out in reverse oh my goodness um wow they're just telling me now with this that you're going to, again, they're really just confirming these cards that I have up here. You're going to receive, it's all going to, things are going to come to light that this person has not let you go and they've been watching you. Some of you, I hate to say it, but some of you really thought that that was not the case at all. I mean, this person, if you had, a, if you had someone here, I'm not going to say that because it's going to probably freak you out um I, you some of you have someone that just like disappeared completely off the face of the earth to the point where you it's been confirmed that maybe this person is never coming back that they're gone or that they're they've moved on 100 percent. like there's they, this person still keeps an eye on you oh my gosh all right so here's my twin flame card okay the lovers, Gemini energy. 
there's definitely a love connection happening here. I feel like two people are going to come into union. This is a card of healing. It's a six. Self-sacrifice, loyalty. Somebody's taking accountability and responsibility for their actions and their behaviors in the past. Okay. Um, soulmates, partnership, agreement, a soul contract. Okay, a soul contract has been completed and now two people are coming into union. Deep, deep, deep partnership. That's what's happening here. In the month of January, a healing heart, the sword and the rose, clarity, telling the truth, revelation. Protection and power. Okay. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. This is for two people. I feel like, you know, I say this all the time. A narcissist needs somebody to dance with. And anyone who's willing to dance with the narcissist will be ill as well. So somewhere along the line, if you were involved with someone, and I'm only saying the word narcissist because it's on the card here. You, you guys know I don't typically like to use that. But even if someone was extremely selfish, or there was codependency and unhealed toxic issues. If you agreed or if you realized there was something off in the relationship and you stayed anyway, you might have caught the virus as well, right? But I see you coming back or talking to this person or hearing what they have to say. This time you got your mask on, you're vaxxed up, you're social distanced. <laughs> you're like, do not bring that virus back here to me. I have moved on. Um, you know, I'm single as a Pringle. I'm keeping it real with myself and I'm healing and I'm good and I'm going to be great. If you want to talk, you can talk from way over there and say what you need to say. Again, I don't feel, Virgo, like you're just going to willy-nilly say, yeah, come on back. And just, you know, dance, uh, put, put your foot on my neck again. Go ahead. I don't feel like you're going to allow that this time. You'll hear what they have to say. But Virgo, you're so ascended already at this point. Um, you've transcended yourself. Or you will be in January. They were telling me to do a couple more of these. But this person, they are, they are deeply in love with you, Virgo. And they have been but they've been sabotaging the connection. Either they don't ever, or they never felt they were worthy of it, or they just needed so much validation and they didn't think they could get enough from you, or they you were the only one they were trying to get it from and it became exhausting for you and you left. And I do feel like, um, well, I'm not seeing that this person went with anybody else. It doesn't mean that they didn't, but ain't no loving like the love I got. You, Virgo, gave it good. Because Virgos usually do. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Somebody wants to date you, Virgo. I love these cards. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed. Narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. All right, listen. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I am going to tell you, Virgo, that if you are going to take this person back. Make sure they're coming back out of heart and not out of ego because they can sometimes look exactly the same. And how do you know the difference? You put them through the mill for a long time because someone who's coming back out of ego is going to say the same things that someone who's coming back out of heart will say. The only difference is someone who's coming back out of heart, they're never going to leave. They're never going to give up. You're going to see that effort every day. They will make changes. This person will go stand up by the cross. They'll nail themselves to the cross if that's what, for all to see if that's what it's going to take. Whatever it takes, because somebody who loves you will never put themselves in a position to lose you. The one who comes back through ego, it's only going to last for a little while, and then you're going to see them dipping off. They're going to be slacking. They can go back to their old ways. So what's the answer? The antidote here is time. You don't need words. You don't need lip service. Okay. Somebody comes back in and says, oh, I really like you. I still like you. And they start flirting with you and they want to date you and everything. All right. Well, you'll have to see, but you got to, you know, hey, listen, that's the only way you know, because in this day and age, people don't want to convince anybody unless they're trying to get something out of it. But somebody who loves you. 
it, you'll just be convinced. You'll just, you'll know when you know, Virgo, right? And this person, I do feel like they are going to come in and they are going to give it a try. They are going to try to make things right with you, but you're going to have to just make them show you, right? No more just talking, okay? No more just talking. They do want to talk talk to you and they are going to communicate. There will be some kind of message, text, to call, and email. Um, they are going to be stalking you a little bit to see what's going on because they want to try to date you. But if you're just not interested in dating this person, then, you know, obviously you just keep it moving. Keep it on. Keep it moving on and separate from this person. Separation. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading there. I have to get going. My phone, everybody's calling me today. I'm like Miss Popular today. Um, but I will be back tomorrow again. If you want to get a private reading, there's a link in the description box below the video. Definitely um, click that link and book your reading with me. Do join my channel, $9.99 a month. I usually would pull three two to three, one to three cards for 20 bucks. If you join for $9.99 a month, you can get as many cards and many readings as you like when you join in the chat for $10 a month. Okay. So it's a good deal. Check it out. Just go to my channel and click join. Um, it might even be below this video as well. All right, you guys, thanks everybody being in the chat. Thanks to the mods. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.